In RPG Maker MZ, conditional branches are functions that run certain events if specific conditions are met. You can also think of conditional branches as if-else statements. Behind the scenes, almost your entire project is made up of conditional branches in some sense. For example, if the player presses the left arrow, then their character moves left. The engine is always checking for a player's input, variables, switches, and other conditions being met, and running the relevant code or events. This is what makes up the very core of a game. You can make use of conditional branches in your game's events to check almost anything about a player's session in your game and use that information to run more events. On the first page of event commands under flow control, the first option is conditional branch. This opens up a new window with four pages of potential conditions that you can select. The first page handles conditions like whether a switch or self-switch is active, a variable is between a range of numbers, or a timer has reached a number. The second page deals with things that are relevant to your game's actors. This includes things like whether they're currently in the player's party, the actor's name, class, whether they currently have a skill, their equipment, or their current state. The third and fourth pages have more miscellaneous options. On the third page, you can choose whether an enemy has appeared in the current battle, or their state. There's also an option to check if an event is facing a specific direction, or whether the player is driving a vehicle. The fourth page lets you select conditions like whether the player has an amount of money, an item, weapon, or armor. It also lets you check if a specific button is being pressed, triggered, or repeated by the player. Lastly, you can also define custom script options, which will allow you to check for almost anything in the game. If you tick Create Else branch, you can also create events if the condition is not being met. Once your conditional branch is created, you can add event commands inside that will run if the condition is met. You can also nest conditional branches inside of each other. 